He's white, he's German, but uh, he's just uh, working uh, cleaning the street. And this guy is a Chinese, but he's a doctor, he holds a doctor's degree. So you cannot compare with that. You have to compare with the same. Okay, that, that proves. Okay, in Germany, you have very good people there, you have also ordinary people. Same in China, China have uh, Many bad people there, they also have very talented people and uh, high class people there. Yeah. For the sound, uh, make the uh, best sound out from a violin. Bridge and a sound post play a very vital role. Okay, we have bridge. I think number one is bridge. Number two is sound post. Number three is a strings. Okay, of course, above all is how you play it. Okay, the musician is the most important. <laughs> okay, you put the best bridge, best sound post, best strings, you make a very awful musician, <laughs> you make a, the worst sound in the world. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, I think we take a, um, a few minutes for question. So I take questions from all the students. Please, uh, uh, ask me questions. Anything you want to know about bridge? Okay, anyone on the internet, you can also ask questions, but I have to answer you another time. I cannot answer you real time. So before we take a rest, I want to check everybody's violin. Okay? Then I will give them a suggestion, give them an idea what the bridge, their bridge is good or not good, or why it's not good, or why it's good, or what kind of bridge could be good or better uh, on their violins. So they can work a new bridge at home or this afternoon on their violins. Okay, now please, come. Bring, show your violin. Have the violin. Uh, this violin is a W. Daniel violin. It's made by my student, uh, handmade with all your varnish. So I have nothing to say with this bridge. It's almost perfect. Okay, <laughs> this you don't have to do anything. So we wait. This violin, I don't know, and uh, I had checked this bridge. I don't think this is bad. This is a good bridge, and uh, it's a nicely fit. Also, the the handwork is not is not bad. It's professional. It's not my style, but uh, but it's professional work. Only thing is the bridge is bent, bent like this. So. So this is not a question about the bridge itself. It's a question about setup. And we have talked about setup in many other videos earlier. But we will talk it again. Okay? This bridge is bent like this. We need to go back like this. But the bridge itself, I think it's good. Okay? This is acceptable bridge. Uh, this look like a factory made violin. It's a, a, a mass production. Uh, the bridge is also, uh, I cannot say professionally, but uh, professional, occupationally, <laughs> occupationally made. <laughs> okay, you can check the dictionary, the difference between profession and occupation. Profession is uh, uh, with a study. Okay, you like a doctor, like a violin maker. Okay, occupation is you do your job. You are employed to do a certain job. So I cannot say this is a piece of art, but it is a occupationally made. It means that the, the people doing this work every day, but it seems not finished. Okay, I can make it better 
uh, with this bridge just for small work. Okay, this is still with this violin. On this violin, it's okay. It's okay. It's not bad. On this violin, uh, but if we take the bridge out uh, separately, then there's more work we can do with the bridge, and we have time. We will do it today. Okay, with this violin. Okay, here it comes to a. Huh. How can I put it? I, I, I don't want to say this is a violin. I'm sorry. This is just a kind of a violin shaped box. And uh, this bridge is, of course, it's not uh, perf even not, not even occupationally made. Okay? It's just uh, amateur. Look like someone made in the kitchen with a kitchen knife. So this, uh, of course, this violin itself is. Uh, so I'm, I'm not saying the, the owner, of course. I'm, I'm only saying the violin. Okay, I, I love the owner very much, but not violin. So uh, I don't know if you maybe you can practice on this violin to make a bridge, but uh, for this violin, I mean, it fits perfectly <laughs> with this. Okay, yes. I think I've seen you before. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, this is a violin made in uh, the workshop. A friend of mine. Okay. He's not a friend, he's a colleague. We know each other well. Uh, this is, this is uh, how can I put it? A decent uh, workshop made a violin. And uh, it's not a purely handmade. I mean, it's not made by one person, but it's according to a handmade method they made it. So uh, for this price, I don't know how much you paid for. Uh, for this range, I mean, this is a decent violin. It's, it's, it's a, uh, the best violin I have seen today, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Except for mine, <laughs> okay? And uh, the bridge. The bridge, who made it? You made it? Okay. The bridge is horrible. <laughs> it's horrible, it's terrible. It does not go with this violin. This is a completely amateur homemade bridge. Okay. This can be a good example today. Okay. To make a bridge, this violin deserves a better bridge. Okay, I think this morning, uh, because uh, you all don't have tools, you don't have tools, so I cannot really help you hand by hand to make a, a bridge today. Uh, okay, in Chinese we say, uh, you're talking about war on the paper, okay? <laughs> You fight a war on the paper, so it means that we cannot do things like that. So what I can do is that I can um, practically help all the students. They are actually all the violin teachers, okay? The violin teachers to improve their own violin, to make better sound, and uh, to make a better uh, result, just to do the change of the bridge. So I think I want to spend some time this morning help each one, everyone, with the violin to make better sound and change a little bit what we can do with the bridge to make better sound. And in the afternoon, uh, we will make, make one bridge. The problem, again, is that uh, I don't have proper tools here. Uh, most of my tools are in Shanghai. My ex-wife, I don't know why she wants my tools, you know. It doesn't make any sense to her, but she does not want to give tools back to me. Okay, so I cannot work. That's why I'm traveling. I have only very simple tools from this shop, uh, which is not I'm not used to. So I don't know how much I can do to make a bridge, but I will try with the simple tools. And if we still have time in the afternoon, I will rehearse a bow 
or just do the bowler here. But that is also a professional work. It's not easy. It's not that can you, I can talk and you can do. I have a video how to reheal the bow. Many people, you know, follow that and they try to make their own, uh, try to reheal their own bows. Try to reheal their own bows, which is uh, uh, courageous. But now, I start from, from who? Not from you. Uh, again, I start from this uh, young lady, and uh, this is the violin, W. Daniel violin. It's commercial time. It costs one thousand U.S. dollars. Okay, purely handmade with all your varnish. Uh, okay, not the best in the world, but it's good for this price. Uh, the the bridge is also already very good. Okay, but because of the weather. During the break, we, we talked about the weather here in Malaysia. Like uh, many South Asian countries, it's very humid. Like Malaysia, Thailand, and the Philippines, they are very humid. So when it's humid, uh, I talked before, the back is getting bigger, the neck is going down, going down. So instead of reset neck, this will a lot of work. We we'll low down a bridge a little bit because this is already too high. You can see this is too high. So I will adjust this bridge to make it a little lower, fit for this violin, same time playable. And the sound will be softer. Okay, will be more sensitive and easier to play. Before that, I want to play a little, just remember the sound, please. Uh, I can borrow a short wrist and a bow. Oh, this is terrible. Do you have a thesis, please? I need to cut my nail. <laughs> I have not played violin for a long time. <laughs> this is just uh, not good. Oh, yeah, I have. You know, I have not played the violin for ages, so I have to cut my nails. Eastern is uh, something very. I cannot make it out. I don't know why. I don't have the ability. 
So anyone who has a whistle E string come to my hand, I cannot make it out. I don't know why. be able to, to, to make a whistle. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I, I, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's because uh, if you are nervous, uh, you are nervous, you are something come out. Uh, not, not you, even professional, soloists, world, one of the best soloists, they have problem come to my workshop. Every time he play, but I would have I can. She cannot. It's very interesting, but she's professional. She's, she's a soloist. And many great violinists come to my shop, complain with the whistle sound, and I cannot make it out. I, I don't know, but, but I will try. I will try to help you with that, okay? Yes. Now, for this violin, I think it's already a uh, very good sound. And uh, but I want the bridge done a little bit more. Now it is a yeah, it is okay. Now it's like a five. Oh, sorry. Now it's six and G string. And four on the E string, it's like one millimeter too high, one millimeter too high. So I make it down, maybe not uh, one millimeter, just uh, close to one millimeter down lower, and I think the sound will be uh, more uh, vibrate more freely and have more uh, have a softer and more elegant sound. Okay, let's try it. Can you? Uh, just anything I can find. Okay, here. At first, I would like to make this the string a little visible, so I will not make make mistake. Okay, so I do. So first, I make. Okay, I put it here. Up here, I make uh, this. Okay, make some marks here. And then I know where the strings is afterwards. Okay. Now I use a fire to fire fire it like this. Okay, fire like this. Mm -hmm. To make it down. Okay, look. It's working benches. Now you can see I have okay fired part of it. Then on the this side, do the same. You 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 need a a, a bench, something like something like this, you know. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Perfect. Okay, good. Now, now I can I can work better this way. Like put like this.
Okay, I think I have already brought one millimeter down. Okay, one millimeter down. So now I sand it to make it smooth. Use a, a piece of sandpaper. Now I need a pencil. Uh, HB. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So we put pencil. I uh, we use pencil to do it here. Okay. Here. So the string will be smooth. Will be able to move. So it's not easy to break the string. Okay. Do it this way. Okay, we still have the parchment, the parchment here, but it's not uh, absolutely necessary. Okay, we just put it back. Uh, but uh, in reality, you don't really need if the bridge is high enough, because the e-string already have a tube. I think I think I leave this. I don't want it because uh, we have a tube. The bridge is high enough. We have this. Uh, uh, the string has a tube, put tube on this, maybe will uh, be easier to play and uh, the whistle sound will, will help with the whistle sound. I hope you will not come, come out again. Let's see. Okay, we put it back. Thank you. 